For many Americans, drinking coffee is the best way to start the day. Caffeine stimulates the brain and keeps you alert and awake, which is exactly what you need most mornings. Although coffee has many health benefits, there are also some risks. Excessive coffee consumption can negatively affect your eye health in the short and long term. Let's learn more about how caffeine intake affects vision and how much caffeine is safe. Drinking coffee can increase blood pressure, which can cause vision complications. If you have a family history of glaucoma, you should pay special attention to your caffeine intake, as there is an association between glaucoma and coffee drinking in those with a higher genetic risk. Knowing the connection between coffee and vision can help you make informed decisions about your health. Research led by the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai has shown a link between daily caffeine consumption and the risk of glaucoma. However, this is only for those with a high genetic susceptibility to the disease. In individuals with the highest genetic risk scores for elevated IOP, the risk of glaucoma may require more than triple with high caffeine intake. But those with lower genetic risk scores did not have an increased risk of glaucoma. Caffeine intake is also linked with an increase in intraocular pressure IOP. Elevated intraocular pressure is a leading risk factor for glaucoma. Therefore, excessive caffeine intake may increase the risk of glaucoma in some patients. Glaucoma has no warning signs. In many cases, people do not realize they have the disease until permanent eye damage has already occurred. Short-term effects of caffeine. Caffeine increases blood pressure and blood sugar. There is also a link between coffee and eye pressure, which some people experience temporarily after consuming high doses of caffeine. Other short-term effects include eye spasms, myokimia, blurred vision, tingling eyes, burning eyes. While these symptoms aren't harmful to your overall health, they can definitely throw off your day. Serious eye problems won't be helped if you drink caffeine to help you wake up and focus. Coffee cravings, burning eyes, and blurred vision can make it difficult to focus on the task at hand and can reduce your productivity far more than caffeine first aid. Someone asks, can coffee make you see spots? Although spotting itself should not occur, other harmful visual effects of caffeine can be equally disturbing and frustrating. However, caffeine is not the only substance that can cause muscle tremors. If you suffer from eye twitching, you can also consider your alcohol consumption, sleep duration, and stress levels. Allergies and dry eyes can also cause twitching and irritation. Address the possible culprits one by one to determine the cause of the eye spasms and alleviate the discomfort. Long-term effects of caffeine. High blood pressure can negatively affect your eye health they are more likely to occur in association with persistent hypertension. Drinking too much coffee in one day is unlikely to cause long-term eye damage, but drinking too much caffeine every day is more likely to cause problems. High blood pressure can cause damaged retina, blurred vision, bleeding in the eye, vision loss, nerve damage in the eye, optic neuropathy, fluid buildup under the retina, choroidopathy, Choroidopathy and optic neuropathy can cause visual disturbances or vision loss. It is important to seek medical help at the first signs of vision loss so that the doctor can correctly diagnose the problem and take timely action. Many types of vision loss are permanent, so if you notice an eye problem, see your doctor. Before we start the next part, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. Positive effects of coffee. The brew gives you more than just an energy boost. Here are the main ways coffee can have a positive effect on your health. Your body can process glucose or sugar better. It's a theory based on research that showed people who drank more coffee were less likely to develop type 2 diabetes. You are less likely to develop heart failure. One to two cups of coffee a day can help prevent heart failure a weakened heart that struggles to pump enough blood around the body. Your liver will thank you. Both regular and decaffeinated coffee seems to have a protective effect on your liver. Studies show that coffee drinkers are more likely to have liver enzyme levels in a healthy range than non-coffee drinkers. Your DNA is getting stronger. Dark roasted coffee reduces DNA strand breaks that occur naturally but can cause cancer or tumors if cells don't repair them. Your chance of colon cancer will be greatly reduced. Colon cancer affects 1 in 23 women. 
but the researchers found that coffee drinkers, decaffeinated or regular, were 26% less likely to develop colon cancer. You can decrease your risk of Alzheimer's disease. Nearly two-thirds of Americans with Alzheimer's disease are females. But the caffeine in two cups of coffee can provide significant protection against it. In fact, Researchers found that women aged 65 and older who drank three cups of coffee a day were generally less likely to develop dementia. You are less likely to have a stroke. Women who drank at least one cup of coffee per day had a lower risk of stroke, the fourth major cause of death in women. How much coffee is too much? To stay healthy, it's generally recommended to drink less than four cups of coffee a day which usually provides a total of 400 mg of caffeine. A 2019 Harvard Medical School study found that consuming three or more cups of coffee a day, or about 300 mg of caffeine, increases the risk of exfoliative glaucoma. It is important to note that coffee is not the only source of caffeine. If you're wondering if energy drinks can cause eye problems, the answer is yes. You need to consider all the caffeine you consume. In addition to coffee and coffee drinks such as espresso, caffeine can also be found in tea. A cup of black tea has about 47 mg of caffeine, while green tea contains 28 mg. Soda. A 12-ounce can of soda typically contains 30 to 70 mg of caffeine. Chocolate. One ounce of dark chocolate includes about 24 mg of caffeine. Energy drinks. A 16-ounce serving of energy drinks typically contains about 170 mg of caffeine. Dietary supplements. Caffeine supplements provide about 200 mg. Medicines. Some medicines contain caffeine. For example, Excedrin contains 50 mg per dose. Chewing gum. Some manufacturers now offer caffeinated chewing gum that contains 40 to 100 mg of caffeine. Watching your caffeine intake is always a good idea. Try to protect your eye health by consuming no more than 400 mg per day from all sources. If you find yourself consuming too much caffeine, gradually reduce your caffeine intake to avoid caffeine withdrawal, which can cause headaches, nausea, muscle aches, and irritability. If you have vision problems, it's best to schedule an eye exam as soon as possible. It is recommended to have an eye examination at least once a year to help detect any diseases early. Daily preventive care is the best way to keep your eyes healthy. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to get more informative and helpful videos. Kindly like, comment, and share our videos with your friends to support our team.